times header first and if the time allows then I will design this section this kind of content also it's kind, kind of very complex layout even if you look at the header it's kind of lot of things are happening and you have to know how to design this kind of complex layout so here is something that I have already done this is the header it has got the logo and all those things and it's kind of rough and you can just like clean it up to make it further beautiful so let's just start making it I will go to my code editor I'm using VS code and here is the HTML file all I have done is like created the bare bones and linked my style file that is the CSS file and the font awesome for the icons and uh, also here is the CSS file that I have linked it here it's like the name and what I have done is imported some fonts fonts from Google fonts and these are just two fonts that I'm using from Google fonts so I just selected two fonts which were like relevant anyway the New York Times is using a different custom font so I cannot have them I do not have do not have the access to them so I will be just using using something that is a bit similar <clears throat> and after that after X after importing those phones I have like reset I have added this thing asterisk or star then padding zero and margin zero this way we remove all the padding and margin which, which is given by the browser by default <clears throat> and after this here is the body the body where everything happens I have given like the width to 100% VW means view width height is automatic so that's not a problem now we have to go back to the header <clears throat> so to, to the HTML file and here I will create the header first and give it a class of header inside this header I need to create three sections if you look over here it has like one two three three things are going on and I will add this later on maybe outside the header let's keep that outside the header so we need three three sections or three dibs inside the header let's create a section let's call this hdr1 and duplicate it like two three and we need to give them different classes here two and here not four but three now this is done inside this I need to have I go back here this has like one two three sections again I need to create three sections or three dibs so I will create a div and call this like um, top left that makes sense and after this I need to create top C -N -T -E -R center and top R I G T right and these are done now now inside this I have <clears throat> two things are going on and they are icons the first is a kind of bar menu bar so I have already already selected this in my phone awesome if I click on this that is very slow with me I will not be able to load it very fast anyway I just copy on this click on this and it's very cold here with me so I'm not able to like make video so nicely it's very cold if I show you the temperature around with me that I know the temperature is like minus six it's like up in the hills so anyway it's like I will add this first and after this I need to add this icon for the search maybe I can duplicate this just by pressing the shift option or alt and down arrow and then I need to add this ERC search and this will add that I think search will be first let me look bar is first that's not a problem so I added that and in the center I have those languages I will add maybe E that makes sense or an A tag just that is a link when you click on that and it goes somewhere but by adding the hash it goes nowhere <coughs> <coughs> and the first is English. second is Spanish third is Chinese I assume or Japanese and I just have to copy this text from here and paste it over here I think that worked yes that's fine now in the right section I have some buttons 
button and give them a class first thing subscribe so SUB is okay and I will just write SUB as C R I B subscribe and I will duplicate this and the second is SI again sign in and its class should be sign in no problem now the first section is done it's inside the header I will go my inside my CSS file and style the header H E A <coughs> It needs some width on the New York Times website the width of this thing is not 100% it's like maybe 92% 92 VW means view width its height can be let's put 200 pixels and margin yes we need to add this thing to make things like in the center 1% up and top and bottom and auto from left and right auto means put this thing in the center and also I will Add the display as flex to put things okay I will add that later that may be confusing for you right now okay and then I need to start my first element inside the header <coughs> and that is SDR one I'm sorry the weather is very bad so I'm not having a good so HDR one I assume this is the one that I they must have it SDR one yes so it needs display as flex yes and uh, justify content space between I assume this is okay and then align the items in the center they should be aligned uh, what is this horizontally horizon means left to right and vertical means up and down align items center left to right they should be aligned all in the center they should be like in one line okay if I open my page now <coughs> I have created this page inside my github document always create a github okay this thing is done now and now I need to give those things some space so I will go to my CSS file so what we need the first element inside this SDR one is what is this thing top left so top left and it has got some icons so those are i elements and not like this nth element the first element of this should have some <coughs> padding to the right around 20 pixels let's see if that works or not that did something that's fine and now those these links they need space as well and they have a common class I assume they have a class of n links but I will not style that I will style the n links separately and I will n links and I want to remove all the text underlines that is text decoration should be none the color should be black I assume and uh, text transform I want to make them capitalized not much now that is acting doing something I want to add the phone as well I don't like this phone so I will go back to my Google phones and copy this thing this is the phone that I'm using for the body and for the other things for the headings I will be using so so serif pro and inside my header I need to use this font so everything inside the header, header should take this font now this is applied and I need to make this font very small but I will not do it over there I will act like this it's uh, uh, top C E N T E R whatever is a uh, link and a tag it inside it should have a very small font maybe around 0 or 7 m's <coughs> or maybe smaller yes and now I need to give them some spacing so that is padding around 18 pixels they have got some spacing I may need to put them in the center but I think that's okay but they are still very large I will make them this small I assume the spacing is very 
large so I will make it smaller no, no it's looking a bit okay now I need to style those buttons I should have given them a common class but it's okay so the first button is SUB it needs some width how about around something like 110 pixels and the height of 34 pixels padding of around 2 pixels border radius of around 2 pixels because we do not want this to be sharp and it should have no border border should be none the background color should be kind of bluish but not this blue I could copy that color from there but I will rather take a kind of black this kind of color and also the text color inside this button should be white not the total white but kind of off white so that is FA 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 I hope that's making sense and the font size should be like maybe it should be 1M let's see it now it has done something but the font is very large 0.7M let's see if that makes sense a little bit I think the button is very large I could make it 100 pixels mm, that's okay I need to increase the border radius also let's try 4 pixels that's looking okay now I need to do the same styling to the sign in button so I will just duplicate this and right here size them i and n and its width should be rather small about 80 pixels if i come back now let's see how does it work it's still very large i will make it 60. let's see and i think that's okay if i go to the original website it's uh, kind of okay the phone is capitalized and here i have not capitalized it so i will capitalize here here with the help of code let's test transform uppercase now should look fine that's okay the color is not matching i can look for that color maybe over here what kind of color they are using it's a kind of it's kind of blue green it's a match between blue and green so let me look for this kind of color it should be somewhat here maybe something like this <clears throat> no. no what is that something is wrong what is wrong this is extra here now if I save it I think this color is a bit matching now I can look for the color but that's wasting time and we do not have time to waste it's looking fine now and now they have some spacing the spacing is okay <clears throat> if you want to give them a sort of spacing so the name of the parent element of these buttons is top right so I will go inside that top of or I guess top right and nth element maybe first or second let's assume we are giving to the first element it needs some margin to the right around one percent or it could be in pixels that would be better yes it needs in pixels percentage will throw it away four pixels <coughs> i think that's that's good enough or maybe it can be less like three pixels or two pixels Let's see if that works or not. That's fine. Now it's the first thing is done. How far they are? They are pretty far. And here they are not so far. If you are not liking this kind of icon, then I can use the image as well. So where are these things? This is here. If I use IMG and uh, inside the IMG folder, I have this uh, MEME menu underscore bar dot png if i use this image let's see what happens that is the kind of image and i think it looks fine maybe and i will just disable this one 
that's looking fine i can replace this icon this icon with the image as well so i will duplicate this link and here i will use search but the search icon is very large image so i will need to reset its width maybe 24 pixels also you need to write something here what is this this is menu always write something that is a good practice good practice they are not aligned in the center what's the problem we have to do that so top left have i accessed it somewhere have i have but not totally so i do not want to access this index in this reference group so top left and what i need to do is display as flags and align items in the center let's see if that do something or not and that has done now i can increase that margin in between them so instead of 20 i can make it 30. let's see if that makes any difference or not that has made some so i can use image or the icons from phone awesome i just have shown you the example now i need to create the second part of the header that looks like this it has a kind of tag here some text here some text here and the new york logo New York Times logo so I will go inside my this thing inside header 2 I need to create a P section first the first element is like Thursday date so I will just post it over here then I need to create an IMG tag IMG tag and in the inside IMG folder I have this N Y T L O G O L O png and its logo also it's a very huge logo so i need to reset it to it to maybe around 500 pixels that's okay now i need to create one more p tag and inside this p tag i will have this today's paper i will just copy this pull it up over here if i come back to my current page now it's not looking good i need to style this so the parent is str2 so i can style it over here i i can just do it over here dot sdr2 <coughs> it needs to be displayed as flex justify content space between what else do i need line items in the center if i reload it now what will happen Things are happening now and the phone is very large i do not like that so inside sdr2 <coughs> sdr2 whatever is a p that means a very small phone so i don't want to see dot nine let's see if that do something or not and text is capitalized i assume yes. text should be capitalized so comes from uppercase and the phone is still very large i will make it eight or seven maybe that's making sense now i need to give some margin at the top margin to around three percent or i could write some <coughs> pixels no i do not have to write it here but inside the parent of all these elements that's okay now i need to give these center icons if i have accessed them and links no top left top center a top center margin from left <coughs> around four percent because i want to put them in the center still more maybe around eight percent or twelve percent a little bit more twelve should work that's fine now this thing str2 needs a border at the bottom at the bottom of one pixel solid 
should be subtle color not some solid color now I need to give some padding because this is touching so it should be padding in the bottom of the actual pixels and that's working fine now I need to create that kind of text rich and these are I assume 19 elements Nineteen, yes. So I need to give inside HTML. This is that. So these are three tags. Yes. So dot n l i n this n links. They should go nowhere. <coughs> and I will give just one single element, and we can repeat that and duplicate it, change it later on. So two, three, four. 18, yes, this is done now. Now this will look very bad if I reload it now. I need to do one thing. I need to make them smaller. So these are eight eggs are inside SDR3. So inside HDR3, but average than A should have a very small font size of around 0 0.7 also they should be capitalized should be uppercase and I will reload it now that's looking fine now they need to be spaced out how we are going to do that I am going to access the SDR again SDR3 and display them as grid and grid can really columns so I will use repeat function repeat it 19 times and use the fraction I do it now. Things are solved. We do not have to use much brain here. So also we need to give some margin from the left so that these are centered at around two percent. Let's see. And I think that's okay. <coughs> some padding from the top. Padding at the top. Around two percent of three percent. Let's see. A lot as in pixels should work six pixels that's fine I should increase it maybe 12 pixels that's fine now it needs border at the bottom border at the bottom it should be one pixel solid black yes And why this is not gone to the whole length? Because this is very small. So I need to do something. This here <coughs> can be that. Let's create a span here. I will create a span here span and give it a just the span so I will remove this border from the bottom I will cut it and inside no that is that is bad that is bad I need to create the span outside I think is it so and give it a class of line okay but anyway I should try that border at the bottom let's set it black this is not giving me the whole length that's a bad thing so I will access that span element underneath this I have the span and it has a class of line let's give it a width of what's the length of length of the whole element is main have I given some width to the main I am still inside the header so this header has a width of 92 so I will put it like 
92 VW and its height should be like 1 pixel background color should be black if I reload it now it has done nothing let's give it bottom bar at the bottom one pixel solid black this should work this has not worked and uh, why <laughs> this line had to work but why it has not worked instead of doing this I will rather use something different if SDR3 is bottom, bottom is not working why maybe because of a grid let's do one thing I will instead of this grid I will give them dot HDR3 those A elements inside this need to have a padding of around 6 pixels let's see now that has not worked around 18 pixels that is too much 12 pixels that is working but line is still not helping does it have a width double the details width 92 3 double let's see if this works or not yes that has worked and now I need to push it to the right side so it has a margin from the left I need to remove this and now it is working uh, now I can increase that padding in between those things to maybe 14 pixels and it is working they are very bright I can reduce their opacity to maybe 0 0.8 so that they are not too visible they need the, the, this thing padding at the bottom so I should give this to the whole thing or just the elements I will give you over here no no padding at the bottom around 4 pixels no that's a bad thing I am giving it to all the elements that will be counted so many times let's do to you over here and that's fine the header is done it's looking it's looking nice yes we have achieved this kind of header here but there are two lines I need to repeat this one more time maybe I can I can do one thing I can add one more element over here over here such dr3 yes and it should have no content mm, yes let's do that section dot h d r 3 I may be doing a stupid thing but no I will use span span to the class of line I will do it again put a dot inside it so that it appears somewhere yeah it is some here over here can I see it yes I can see it so now I need to style the line line it needs to have a width of 92 percent that is VW means the width it should have a height of 2 pixels and it should have a background background should be black no it should be three zeros let's see that thing has not much worked now I need to give it border border at the at the any, any place let's give it border at the top 2 pixel solid 
I never had such a problem where I had to put two borders. This thing has not worked. Has it worked? And border has not worked. It should be like uh, height is okay, width is okay. Is this something like line height? Line height, speed, line break? No, there's nothing like that. Line height, no. <clears throat> width is okay, height is. Height is why it is going so. Display flex. Let's try something really stupid. No, that has no impact. Justify content space between. I mean, this is really stupid. Yeah, something has worked. Something really has worked. I need to decrease its height to one pixels. No, no, I have done something wrong. Something is wrong in okay. Yes, now I need to give some mm, margin at the top around four percent. And that has worked. I will give some margin pixels like two pixels. I need to re remove its content that is a dot. If I reload it now, it's working, but I need to make it very small. Margin top is okay, height is okay, border top, height. Let's reset this. And that's working. I think there's a little more gap, maybe three pixels. And that's looking fine. Now uh, we have done this logo, but I think this New York Times logo is a bit larger here. We need to make it smaller. So instead of 500 pixels, I will make it 460. 460 pixels. And that's looking very nice, really nice. We can change this text and we have achieved this New York Times layout. Now we need to design this. This will take some time, but anyway, we can do this. So we are outside our header. We are going to create the main and going to give it a class of main. Inside the main, we need to create a section, CCPIO section and call this top area. We are going to give it a class of top area. Inside the stop area, we need to create some boxes. So box. Inside this box, I need to have an image first. So inside my IMG folder, I have this myt one dot png. I will give it some name. Just image. IMG image. Also, these images are very large, so I will give them some width, very small, maybe around maybe around sixty pixels. <clears throat> and after that I need some h4 tag to hold this text listen to the daily like a listen to the <clears throat> DLA daily and not just this I need to create a container the DL details to hold this text these two text lines should be inside that details container I will Indent it over here and indent this further in. I need to put a P line here and I will write some lorem maybe 12. Enter. It has written some lorem ipsum for me. That's okay. But I think this is this is like this. There is a lot of coronavirus problem going on, but it will disappear very soon. Maybe. After a month, this coronavirus will start disappearing. This has a life and it will not last for long. Okay, now this is done. I need to duplicate this box a few times. Two, three, 
I think these are three images. Yes. And then there is one more thing. I need to create this div called this index index. Inside this index, I have like three lines and I will call them like e tags. Inside those lines, I need to have and 500 then I need to give some space so that is mbsp non breaking space repeat it one more time mbsp then I need to create a span because I want to give a different color to that that text of values then I need to have an i tag for the arrows that is a class fas for dash arrow dash down i assume i'm typing it right if it is not i have to duplicate it like three times two three and i can change the name of the indices here it should be doll and then it's a nest deck and yes d a t <coughs> also after this i need to create that div for the temp we are create ui temperature inside i need to have one section for the so first thing is an i tag so it's a class for for dash c l o u this clouds then i need to create a div for temps t m p s temps inside this i need to put an h3 tag that will display like minus six how to play the degrees that's a code for this I can look for that but this play D E G R degrees in CSS <coughs> degrees sign symbol let's see not not a problem if i don't know then i have to look for them who is giving to give me okay so this is the code that i have to use degree celsius this is the code we do not have to remember these things everything is on the internet so why should we remember them six then write this i assume this works and then i need to put a break means we want to write the those lines underneath it and they are like on the New York Times 6 degrees and minus 16 degrees so it's like minus 6 then I need to write this code again this code should work if it doesn't work then we will I think this should be written in close there's 16 and then i will post this underneath this temps then i need to have a how's this happening this is happening outside so it's like a p tag and it's the location name and country name okay if I reload it now it will look very bad yes indeed it's looking very bad and now I need to yes the degree Celsius is displaying very nicely that's a good thing now everything is contained inside top area so flex is our friend we have to use that again top area need to be displayed as flex justify content space between 
align items in the center and uh, if I reload it now things will be a little different yes they are I need to give it some width not to this but to the main because this is contained within the main so main as a class of main we need to have a width of 92% that is VWV width and a height can be automatic and also margin to put the things in the center so 2% at the top and bottom and automatic on the left and right if I reload it now things will be a little different yes they are and now I need to reset the font size also the box needs to be displayed as flex again display as flex if I do it now things will look a bit different yes first thing first inside the box I will reduce the font size to maybe 0.8 m because the font is very big that looks fine now but also I don't like the font family over here so I will copy this font family from here and inside my what is the name of this thing this is top area everything inside top area should have this font this is a Roboto font makes sense I think this font is still very large maybe large or I will reduce the text that is written here maybe I will remove two more lines let's see if this makes some difference or not that did make some difference now the name of the element that is containing those text lines is details I have given it a class of details that's the benefit of giving them classes they need to have some margin at the left side because that is touching at the left side so margin left round six pixels that should make some difference nothing happened why the because I have not written the right thing it's details I will reload it again and yes that happened I can increase it to maybe like 12 pixels and that's making some difference now that's fine now I need to put the stop area the stop area should not have that much margin at the top so top margin should be like minus 12 pixels no that will not work that's very, very small value maybe minus 4% <clears throat> that's okay we can style it along now these elements inside clouds I think the name of the element that is containing those values is temperature so dot T M P R E T U R temperature should have font size very small maybe 0 0.8 m right now it's very large I need to reduce it further mm, I will make it 6 or 7 no that is not working why because I need to access the uh, h3 element no 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 these are indices so I'm sorry inside the indices index dot index whatever is a p should have a font size of 0 0.8 m you could write 18 pixels no sorry 18 16 12 pixels like that and i think that's making sense but why they are like aligned not so good i will have to take care of this thing i will look for this what is the problem here it is closed it is closed as well is there some problem it is a span it is a span it is not 500 okay if I reload it now I need to give some width to the box its width should be like 300 pixels maybe 
and that's making sense now. <clears throat> now those lines should have a border at the bottom one pixel solid very subtle color hope that makes sense yes and they need to have some padding at the bottom as well padding at the bottom around eight pixels mm, that's fine but i have done something wrong first element should not have this no that two need to have this how about padding padding how about margin margin bottom mm, no That's okay, but now I need to make them like these arrows should be at the same level. So I will need to add some more NBSP here. Equal space here. Equal space here. If I reload it now. Now I need to give some space to the center one to the door. I need to add one more NBSP maybe or maybe two. maybe one more I can do one thing the span elements can be lined but that's not that will take a lot of time I will add one more NBSP maybe one more yeah <laughs> two more yes and now I will add this same thing to this thing as well two times and that's fine now I need to give these arrows these arrows are inside the index so inside index whatever is an I first it should have a color of red phone should be smaller 0.8 ms they should have some margin to the left side around 6 pixels see now that's making sense now those span elements side index whatever is the span should have a color of red that should make sense yes that has now cloud has not appeared yet I will further make them smaller instead of 300 I will make it make them two. that's fine now the clouds need I need to have the cloud image I'll go to my phone awesome and I will look for clouds yes clouds sorry why has it not appeared? Far, far. Will it work? And I can maybe use this. No, it's raining here very badly. It's very cold here. So I will use this. Very cloudy here. Very rainy here. It's very slow. Internet is really like that anything anyway if I reload it now and look at this back again there is no cloud image so I have to exactly copy this thing but I'm gonna have to wait for this to load clouds dash rain maybe how does it work no have I done something wrong? Seems okay. Far dash clouds. Save it again. Nothing yet. 
anyway you have got the idea now it is here where was the problem it's for dash cloud dash showers dash heavy okay quite a long name so i will just paste it over here and i if i reload it now the cloud image is there now i need to one do one thing the temperature class dot e one e or it can use our temperature display it as a flex let's see what happens and things are aligned the p tag i will put that down no problem the inside temperature whatever is an i needs to have a bigger font font size should be like 2 m now the cloud should become bigger its opacity should be a bit less like 6 maybe or 5 that's still very much 5 i think should be fine because if you look at the website here it's looking very different so now i will disable this line for a while and the name of the element that is containing these things is temps dot temps it should have some margin to the left side of around 12 pixels let's see if that works or not kind of worked but the line below it has gone very far away this line and why because i think this needs to be inside an element the p should work here if i reload it now not much change but i can maybe give it a class negatives next negative yeah that makes sense dot in the g a t a g a t a negative its position should be relative and from the bottom should be like 10 pixels let's see if that do something or not yes i can increase it to 14 pixels and it has gone closer now yes temperature is changing i cannot just keep on updating that i will reduce the font as well here negatives should have a font very smaller 0.6m that's fine now i can write that line underneath and i can adjust its position as we want and uh, this element should not be inside the temp it should be outside it outside the temp and g it should be here it's it's already outside and it should be here how it is going to work why don't we just write it over here put a break over here and uh, do it like this how about this why is it not working no don't do it like this i will be right outside the div and then adjust its position yes it should give it a class In location yes so dot location location should have a position a relative and from the top it should be like 20 pixels down 40 pixels and that's not make sense and left maybe with like 10 pixels negative further 
full or maybe 30 and uh, that's making sense i assume the whole element that is containing this thing temperature is this one this line has disturbed it honestly i need to bring it further in i mean something is happening something is ready but i need to give some margin to the top area where is this top area margin top should be like no 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 that is take it in it should be like 20 pixels no 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 8 percent let's see too much 2 percent maybe minus 2 percent that's okay that's fine now i zoom this thing is kind of done this whole thing if i inspect it now and look at this thing you see its width is whole thing it has taken the width of 179 pixels i have to adjust that if i want to achieve the whole thing like this is aligned to the stream edge it's not a very difficult thing but at least we have the display ready I mean, something is ready and i can tweak it to make it really beautiful and we can achieve this kind of layout it's not much happening here i can use just the flex box and the grid grid yes grid i i will have to use and this layout can be achieved but the video will get very long i will do that in the next next video this kind of layout and hope this was helpful and if it is helping do let me know thank you have a good day